After the destruction of the old tower, the minions you know, scattered across the world. Uh, a small group of them managed to find the old minion birthing grounds called the Minion Burrows. There, the minions await their dark master to return. All of the four minions uh, return in Overlord 2, but they're all better, more destructive and more funny than before. First you have the Browns, who are the fighters. They have become very good at holding their grounds, fighting enemies and charging into battle. Uh, they're the most tough, uh, they can withstand a lot of power and they're best for melee combat. Then we have the Reds, who are the fire imps. They can throw fireballs over great distances and set stuff on fire. They can also absorb fire if, for example, you need to uh, proceed to a particular area. Then we have the Greens, or the Stealth Assassins. They've become a lot more good at their job. They track prey like hyenas and then jump on their back to take them down. You know, they become invisible when you place them where they can ambush enemies. Then we have the Blues, who are like the most magical of the minions. The Blues, they can swim, they can blink through enemy forces, and most importantly, they can resurrect fallen enemies on the battlefield. Another thing uh, what you can do with your minions is possess them. For example, some areas are you know, too small for the Overlord to go, or there are particular tasks which are just too dirty for an Overlord to do, so he can just possess a minion, so his presence will enter a minion, and you can directly take control of him and go on a particular mission.